All right, here is an answer to Idol's question about how to make a rectangle. I'm not sure if you're in Photoshop or Illustrator, so I'll just show you for both, as well as how to make a triangle. I know those seem like simple things, uh, but it's kind of buried, and so I'll just show you real quick how that works out. So first things first, let's dive into, let's just do it in Illustrator here. I'm gonna make a new document. It doesn't matter what kind, I'm just gonna make it for web. Um, and then over here, I'm going to jump to my essentials uh, up here in the top right, whatever your, your window workspace is set up as. I'm just going to make my essentials and then hit reset essentials. So that way, hopefully you and I are looking at the same thing. All right, so let's get started with the rectangle. What I would do is hit the letter M and it'll default to my rectangle tool here. And to make a rectangle, just simply click and drag. If you want it to be a square, a perfectly square, hold down the shift key while you click and drag. And that's about it. Pretty simple. Uh, let's take a look at the star though. That one's a little bit more buried. Any of these tools on the sidebar that have a little drop down arrow means there's more hidden behind that tool. So if I come over here to the rectangle tool, and again, I hit the letter M to get to that, I can hold down, click and hold down, and now I got a flyout window with more tools here. So what I'm gonna do is click on the star tool and click and drag, and it makes a star. Okay, obviously not helpful for trying to make a triangle, but here's what you can do. If you click and drag, and then hit the down arrow key, you can add or take away points on the star. So in this case, I'm just gonna hit the down arrow key until I get three points here, and now I've got a triangle. However, you'll notice it's a little bit uh, indented here, not truly a, a real triangle. So a couple ways we could fix this. One would be to take my pen tool and hover over that anchor point and then just click to delete it, and there's your triangle. Or another way would be to go back to that star tool Let's find it over here, click and drag. I'll hold down the shift key to make it perfectly horizontal. And then if I throw the alt key in there as well, it uh, straightens it out completely and takes away those points. So there's your triangle in Illustrator. Something else while we're talking about the star tool though, if you just click once and don't actually drag, you get the star um, dialog box, I guess you could say, and you can add points this way as well. If I'll click okay. And you can see it throws in kind of weird shaped star. That's because of the way the radius was set up here. If I cancel that, actually, let me just show you what this does. If I hit 50 pixels, now what it did is it gave a 50 pixel inner point radius and 155 to the outside points. So that's what those numbers mean. The other thing we could do to get the same effect would be to hold down uh, the, let's see, the control and command key on a Mac. I'm not sure what it is on a PC, but if I hold down that control and command key, I can change, I can just click and drag with my mouse to change the length of those points. So a little bit of a side note, but um, something cool that could be useful you probably didn't know about. Now let's jump into Photoshop real quick and take a look at the same thing. I'm gonna make a new document. Uh, also doesn't matter, I'm just gonna make it for web, that's fine, hit create. And let's take a look at the same thing. Now if I were gonna make a rectangle in Photoshop, there's a lot more ways to do it. Uh, I would probably hit the letter U key, which would default to my, um, my shape tool over here and same deal I've got a little drop down arrow which tells me there's a lot more options behind it I can make a rounded rectangle tool or the square rectangle tool um, square corner that is so I'm just gonna click on that rectangle tool same thing click and drag and now I have a rectangle I can click up here in the options bar to change my fill color or I can even change the fill color down here and apply that to it I'm gonna go to oh man I don't even know I just know it by the shortcut if I hit alt delete it will fill it with that foreground color. Again, or just in the options bar, change the color here. If I want it to be perfectly square, I'll hit that letter U again to come back to my shape tool. Hold down the shift key, click and drag, and now I've got a square. So as far as that goes, I would work with shapes whenever possible, but you can also work with selections. So if I come up here to my selections tool, and the shortcut for that is the letter M for marquee, click and hold, and you can see we also have the elliptical marquee in a couple other options as well. I can click and drag and I'll get those marching ants, but now when I'm drawing on this, it would actually be, uh, what you would wanna do is come over here to your layers palette, click on new layer and actually fill this. Uh, let's go to edit and I think it's fill right here. Shift F5 or Alt Delete to fill with your foreground color. Click OK. And now I've filled this in. Now the difference here is this is a rasterized image. So as we zoom in, um, you know, it's a straight line right now, but it's going to look all pixelated. Whereas your rectangle, your shapes are actually uh, vector based. So as you change these 
and you zoom in, um, again, bad example because we're seeing the grid here, not the actual shape, but your, your shape will be perfect. So that's why I tend to work with the actual shape tool instead of the marquee tool. So something else, let's take a look. How would you make a star in Photoshop? Well, actually not a star, a triangle. Uh, a couple ways we could do this. We could do the same thing where we come to the polygon tool. I'll click on that and I'll click once and this has a few more options much like Illustrator where we can change the number of sides and the height and width and hit OK. And that looks a little weird because we've got the smooth corners turned on. So I'll click again, uncheck that, and now I'll click OK. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to my selection tool, my path selection tool, and I'm going to click on the direct selection tool. And I can click on this point here, on any of the points really, and I can change this to be wherever I want. So uh, maybe not quite as helpful. The other thing you could do is get your pen tool, the letter P here, over here on the side. And I could just draw a triangle. So I could click once, hold down shift and click. So that way, no matter where I click, it becomes perfectly horizontal. And then I'm just gonna kind of hover up here and click and then click again. And now I've got a triangle. Um, this is actually just a path. So what you might want to do before you start drawing with the pen tool is come up here to your options bar. And instead of making a path, we're going to click shape up here. And now when we draw with this, we actually have a shape. So a few different ways to do it. I know it's not as easy as just, you know, coming over here and finding a, a triangle. Um, there actually, now that I think about it, might be an option under, if we go to the custom shape tool, click on that drop down. There might be a triangle option in here, to be totally honest. I haven't been in this menu in a long time. Um, but that's something fun you could play with, too. So anyway, I hope that's helpful. I hope that answered your question. And uh, if it didn't, let me know. And thanks for watching.